Ganapati Bappa will be home soon and with his arrival there's so many things that I'm yet to do so I have buckled up tight uh, to take off all the things before the end of today um, with lots of diyas to be lit up during the festival it will be good to soak them in oil beforehand in which way they will be lit up for a longer time I have kept all the uh, Pooji samagris ready for tomorrow as it's Gauri and Ganesh Puja together. Keeping all what will be needed ready now will be a lot easier, saving up a lot of time. Um, so I have set uh, the Marit Bagana as well. Uh, if you are newly wed couple or away from home, this is what you will need. A blouse piece, bangles, haldi kumkum packet, rice, dal, salt, a pack of small mirror, kajal, comb, a little doll, two turmeric sticks, two adke betta, a packet of jaggery and fruits. For udaki, in a bowl, I have five fist of rice which is measured. I have a blouse piece, a ready packet of kajal, comb, haldi kumkum, bangles, mirror, adke betta and arshinath kombu. Wana kobri. And to be honest, I'm not very good at making cotton jewelry for Gauri, but I have just tried my best in making very simple bangles, jumka, kalungra, uh, kaidara. And these kaidaras are meant for all the three girls, myself, Shreya, and Sanika. Uh, we will be, um, I'll be needing 16 threads in the measurement of 16 fist, a set of two, and five threads in the measurement of five fist set of four for both the girls uh, that I apply a little bit of water on all over and then I apply turmeric powder and I keep them ready to this point a tray with all the garlands that I bought from Bangalore this year 21 count for Ganapati and 16 count for Gauri we at home follow a tradition for Gauri Habba especially all the ladies at home and luckily I got this beautiful very gorgeous sari from my auntie Jyoti auntie the housewarming ceremony that I attended it's very unique color a great combination of color beautiful copper pallu that I iron and keep it ready it's believed which has completely come true to my very own experience in all these years that when we wear a, a new set of clothes on Gauri Habba we will gather lots of new sets of clothing uh, throughout the whole year yes I'm expecting lots more for this year as well and luckily this uh, color is a kind of greenish aqua blue color so which makes it more uh, perfect for Gauri Habba. So thank you to Jyoti auntie um, who is very dear auntie to me and this is a beautiful sari that I that I'm so much going to love wearing it and then I measure in one small cup of Darya Dal powder to one small cup of icing sugar a teaspoon of ghee cardamom powder very little of milk that I make small balls and press it down where we will be keeping diyas to light up. I started making garlands last year so I wanted to give a go this year as well with a little bit of experience that I gathered from last year uh, to what I learned and from what uh, what to do how to do and what not to do we should always try things and it's all, only when we try we learn so we should always give it a go to what we feel like doing um, I love making garlands but uh, I have never seen or learned on how to do it so this year i start off with a zarbara flower in the center and then i place flowers of combination of colors whatever you like and then i pulled them down placing them on all sides in which way you will get a 3d flower garland covering the string and then i start off from the center of the zarbara flower uh, the same zarbara flower again on the other side of to make another string on the other side we have put a Ganapati this year, Bala Ganapati. So this size is just perfect. And then I place leaves and red flowers to the ends to complete the look. I cover it up with a cloth which is wet in which way the garland will be fresh until tomorrow. I keep it in the refrigerator and have set my alarm at 4.30 am in the morning tomorrow for Gauri Ganesha Habba. 
I, Shreya and Santosh have cooked food together and now are all ready for the puja. So we have um, our online puja vidana batru that we follow. Uh, YouTube is a great platform not only sharing ideas and recipes but we can also get information and guidance to all that we look forward for. Um, I have linked up all the YouTube links that I'm following for the Puja Vidana in the description box um, so that you can follow the Puja Vidana. I'm making Arshina the Gauri now and Shreya is tying her uh, Kaidara. I place all the jewelry to Gauri and then begin our Puja. Trying our best to follow all that we can and luckily Shreya is at home today for the Puja uh, whereas Sanika is at school. With us finishing off a Gauri Puja, Santosh begins Ganapati Puja by doing his Abhisheka and then worshipping Ganapati Papa on coming home. We bought this item from India, small, cute and eco-friendly Ganapati made completely from mud and he looks super stunning with a fresh flower garland. Yes, we all did 21 gunji and now are all hungry and are ready to eat. We are ready with a big platter of traditional food that is prepared during this festival to offer uh, kadbu, kosamri, beans and carrot palya, tave, vada, kai rasa, shaki paisa, urunutsaru, wangi bath, rice and we also have padampu. Yes, I we are so happy to have him home that we cannot let him go so soon and have extended his day for three days with it being third day today have invited our close family and friends who stay close by together we will be 31 of us and with this very impromptu gathering that we decided just last night i did the shopping this morning so here is to a plan that has worked and i managed to cook everything in four hours time i start making hesabele paisa uh, first by roasting moong dal. This is one big cup measurement. I am dry roasting until they turn piping hot and have changed the color. And in a kettle I have hot water. Adding in hot water for faster cooking. Parallelly I have set making uh, shinga bija kalsana with the base um, in a thin layer of oil. 2 teaspoon of mustard seeds. A cup of peanuts which is shinga. of dal and urata, curry leaves, turmeric, green chili paste, the moong dal is cooked so I add in a cup measurement of brown jaggery. I made sure it's watery as moong dal will absorb a lot of water and we are going to have it later in the evening for dinner. Now with a tablespoon of ghee, handful of cashew nuts and raisins for the tadka uh, to add in to the hesudere paisa. Adding in one and a half cup of rice, salt and lime and I'm using my hands to mix and combine in which way the food will combine well and taste really good. With the name being kalsana, adding in freshly grated coconut and coriander leaves. I'm using three tins of chickpeas which are boiled and ready to use. With a teaspoon of oil, mustard seeds, curry leaves, chickpeas, a splash of water. Turmeric powder, salt, grated coconut and coriander leaves. Most of the dishes that I have planned for today does not require a lot of chopping. Making the cooking process faster and easier. Also we do not use onions, garlic and ginger for cooking when the food is offered to God. I finish it off by adding in lime. 
Now to make sambar, I have chopped sorikai, carrot, beans and potato. I am directly boiling them in water for 15 minutes time. Parallelly, I have one big uh, cucumber chopped, four tomatoes chopped, one cup of peanuts that I have pressure cooked with salt for one whistle and I add in salt and lime. This salad proved to be everyone's favorite. Now to make mozzarella, I have one and a half cup of rice that I mash up nicely as it's warm enough. If it becomes cold, it is really hard to soften it. So it's important when it's still warm enough to mash it up nicely. Mashing up the rice this way will make the dish taste good for yogurt rice. I have a pot of yogurt, half a pint of milk, a bowl full of grapes, coriander leaves. Now for the tatka, a tablespoon of oil, mustard seeds, chana dal, urad dal, red chilies and curry leaves. It's been 15 minutes, the vegetables are cooked. So I add in one and a half cup of cooked tur dal and hand it over to Santosh to finish it off with a half a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of red chilli powder, three teaspoons of sambar powder, tamarind juice. He gives the right amount of masala powders to the sambar just like it tastes in the temple. Um, adding in the Himalayan pink salt by giving it a little wash with water and retaining the bottom. Parallelly, I am making another quick version of peas rice with a teaspoon of poppy seeds, coriander seeds, two cloves, cumin seeds, four peppercorns, two green chilies, mint leaves and grind it into a paste. Into the electric rice cooker, I have a cup of basmati rice that is washed, half a cup of peas, turmeric powder, salt, uh, freshly ground mint paste. For the sambar tarka, a tablespoon of wheat, mustard seeds, urad dal, fenugreek seeds, dried red chilies, hing, curry leaves. Now offering all that is cooked to Gauri and Ganapati. We really hope they have enjoyed their stay at our home and before they leave uh, to come back again next year, we offer them this platter cooked with love. Our friends are a great help who are our family now, where everyone contributes in doing everything from Rangoli to setting up an instant well with flowers and water for researching to even performing the puja ceremony to singing devotional songs. Hey kids, follow the card. Gajamukhani, Gajapati, Nagi, 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 Nagi,
An instant plan can bring in so much of joy that we loved celebrating and are very happy to have had such an amazing visarjan with all involved big small men women children for seeing of gauri and ganpati